What do you think about Richard Feynman? He famously said, what I cannot create, I do not understand. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you think a little bit about this, if we cannot recreate the circuits outside, it's gonna be difficult for us to understand. And if we don't understand the biology, all the breakthroughs in medicine that came over the last decades, think about cancer in children, right? In the 60s, 90% lethal. Today, less than 10% lethal. Why this entire revolution? Molecular biology. Right. Yeah. Because the tissue of interest was accessible. You get the blood of these patients in leukemia or the tumor, you bring it to the lab and you deploy the power of molecular biology. We in psychiatry and neurology are really the last ones because we cannot access the brain. So my belief is that as we gain access to the brain through these methods and others, non-invasively, we're going to be able to deploy the power of molecular biology and make breakthroughs in molecular you know, psychiatry and neurology as we've done in cardiology and other branches of medicine. So if you were around in Frankenstein's day, Frankenstein would have just been a regular Joe yeah. on the street. He'd have been like, hey, what's going on? <laughs>